Hi there, this is uh, Shrikant Dasari. So in this lesson, we are going to introduce ourselves to uh, JavaScript programming language. The JavaScript programming language is a, a client-side uh, scripting language and it is one of the hottest scripting languages in the world. So by using JavaScript, uh, you can add some uh, uh, interactivity to your uh, web pages so that uh, it shows some uh, dynamic uh, nature to our static HTML web pages. Okay. So let me launch the ID. The ID here we are using is uh, Visual Web Developer 2005 Express Edition. Okay. So the world has almost forgot that uh, there exists such an ID, but still I am using this one because this is very lightweight and uh, uh, good enough to do some uh, minimalistic uh, introductory uh, JavaScript programming. Okay. So the current version uh, which is running is uh, Visual Studio 2013. Uh, Express Edition uh, from Microsoft. So, if you want, you can check. So, from their uh, website, Visual Studio 2013 Express. Okay. So, if you want, you can download uh, uh, this from their website, and uh, you can do the same piece of coding uh, inside this uh, application. Okay. So, as far as I consider uh, uh, using lightweight IDE for introductory uh, programming for learning uh, learning purpose, uh, this is good enough. Okay. So first let us create a new uh, project or new website from file new website here. So let's name our website as let, let's first select the empty website here. Okay. So since we are doing a client side uh, scripting language, we need not uh, select all those uh, ASP.NET options here. Okay. So ASP.NET is a server side uh, scripting language, which we will cover later. Okay. So uh, empty website. Okay. So let's name our uh, website as something like this one intro to javascript okay some relevant name whatever you wanted okay so as soon as you click okay uh, you get uh, this if you observe in the right hand side top in the solution explorer so project this this is your project directory okay so first you need to add uh, html page uh, to that project okay so the javascript is written inside the html page okay so HTML is the most basic uh, skeleton. So in that HTML page, uh, you need to add your uh, uh, JavaScript uh, coding. Okay. So first, let me uh, add a HTML page by right clicking on the uh, option on our project name here, add new item, and select the HTML uh, page option here. And let's say it as index.html. Okay. So since this is an older version of uh, Visual Studio Express, it strictly follows the syntax of XHTML. Okay, so the current uh, the current syntax of HTML is HTML5. So let's add that doc type here, HTML5 doc type, which looks like this. And let's remove this XHTML uh, syntax uh, inside our HTML page. Okay, so let's add some uh, relevant title here, like let's say. So intro to JavaScript. So all these things are uh, basic HTML things. Intro to JavaScript. Okay. So let's add a h1 tag. So let's not keep our website empty. So let's say hello from uh, HTML. Okay. So now if you want to run this uh, HTML page or if you want to view this HTML page in the output uh, in the browser, so you can feel free to click this uh, triangle button, the green triangle button, or you can hit F5. Okay. So it asks you to add a web.config file. I click OK, and so you get uh, your web HTML page displayed in the browser. Okay. So here we have uh, the default browser in my system is Chrome. So that's the reason it's showing the output, uh, throwing the output in the Chrome here. Okay. So here we have nothing. Uh, we have done anything. Uh, uh, not that excited here. We have just taken a plain. Uh, HTML page and we have uh, added a h1 tag here. Okay, so if you want to go to full screen in our uh, visual uh, web developer express version, so you can hit shift alt and enter. Okay, so if you want to check your output uh, once again, so let's uh, stop debugging here. Let me run this page once again so by hitting the F5. Okay, so here you have uh, a plain uh, HTML page uh, with nothing but h1 tag here inside. Okay, so in order to add a uh, uh, JavaScript to our uh, uh, web page, the plain uh, simple HTML page here. So we need to use the script tag. Okay, the script tag goes like this. 
Okay, so whatever you write inside this uh, script tag is considered as uh, JavaScript uh, code by the web browser. Okay, so normally the script tag uh, sits in the head section. So if you observe in our uh, simple HTML page here, we have placed the script tag inside the head section. Okay, so let's add a, a, the most basic uh, a, a JavaScript statement, which is uh, document uh, dot write ln method okay so the purpose of this uh, method is to add the text to our uh, text to our uh, browser window okay so that's the reason we have said here uh, document dot write ln and whatever the text you place inside this function uh, write ln method uh, just throws the output to the web browser so let's say hello from uh, javascript here okay Let's add the semicolon at the end and if you click, if you hit F5, so again you get uh, the output displayed here. Okay, so if you see here, uh, it just displays the output, uh, hello from JavaScript in the browser here. Okay, so so you can do, uh, you can add your HTML uh, uh, tags inside the JavaScript statements here. Okay, so to show that, if you add uh, H1 tag, uh, so you are allowed to do uh, uh, this kind of stuff here. You can add uh, HTML tags inside your uh, uh, JavaScript statements. Okay, so it simply reads uh, whenever it reads uh, this tag here, it understands the nature of the H1 tag and uh, it converts your uh, uh, output statement, uh, your statement into a heading. Okay, so again, if you run this uh, small piece of code by hitting the F5, so now you get displayed. Uh, that the same piece of text in the form of a h1 here okay so in the same way uh, uh, you're always welcome to add your scripts inside the uh, body also okay so the reason uh, they do this because uh, if you add your scripts inside your uh, head section uh, there is a small uh, uh, problem uh, here because so uh, the website uh, will not get a load until all the scripts gets executed inside the head section okay so this uh, increases the loading time okay this increases the uh, loading time of the uh, uh, web page okay so the most developers uh, prefer to add uh, the script uh, this whatever the script you wanted to add uh, inside your html uh, pages uh, the developers prefer to add, add them at the end of the body section okay so after all the html tags uh, they keep the scripts at the bottom so by this uh, by doing this kind of uh, uh, by placing uh, the script at the end of the body section so the scripts are executed after all the html content uh, is loaded okay so in that you can reduce the delay uh, in loading your website okay so now if you are, if you run this uh, piece of uh, code uh, it works quite normal uh, it first gets uh, executes uh, this script here okay so first it gets execute uh, the beginning script which is document dot write ln and then uh, it prints the h1 uh, tag hello from html and again 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 it executes the script inside the body tag here okay so if you observe here in the website uh, the output here so okay So this is the introduction to JavaScript here. So to summarize, so here we have taken a, a small HTML, a simple HTML page uh, possible and we have uh, embedded the JavaScript uh, inside our HTML uh, page. Okay. So script tag, uh, using the script tag here. So inside that we have written only one statement, which is the most uh, simplest statement. Um, so you can uh, write uh, in JavaScript, which is document or write uh, which sole purpose is to just to print uh, the hello world message on the browser window. Okay. So if you want, you can do it in other way also. So you can embed uh, your JavaScript uh, statements, your JavaScript, uh, the entire JavaScript inside a HTML tags like this, like this. Okay like this okay so if you do something like this uh, okay so now uh, so what we have done here is so we have uh, en uh, enclosed the entire uh, scripting uh, inside a 
H1 tag here. So the same, the output, now the output does not get disturbed here. If you run the web page here, so it is the same output here. The previously we have uh, written the HTML tags inside a JavaScript statement. So now we have just changed the nature and we have just uh, embedded the uh, or enclosed the entire scripting within a HTML tag here. Okay. So this is the basic stuff about uh, JavaScript. Okay. So see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.